And in Heat A of the main competition, we have Public Nuisance uh, with the very steep, the very steep robot, um, which can actually get robots out of the arena quite well. That is against Lance Corporal Kill. Uh, in round two, that will face either Knife or Mr. Wobster. Um, and in the other half of the heat, there is the Spade Twins against Lord Cornelius and Thing versus Toxinator. It is a public nuisance. It is a classic wedge shape. It's very steep, so it is able to flip up robots quite easily and get them out of the arena. It has immense pushing power, but it does have a weakness, and that weakness is its lack of control, and it's even subject to driver error. Here is Lance Corporal Kill. It's a mostly box-shaped robot with wedges on each side. It has a holographic and also a steering problem, which makes it lack of control. It's effective as it is good, though, but it can get under robots in Hello and welcome to this one round battle between Public Nuisance and Lance Corporal Kill. So, oh, and, and Public Nuisance goes straight into the wall and now hitting Lance Corporal Kill very hard. Lance Corporal Kill seems to have some control problems. I think that it's having some problems going backwards and forwards. Um, and Public Nuisance is, and he, he whacks um, Lance Corporal Kill straight against the wall. Lance Corporal Kill trying to get John here, but oh! Jonathan's robot there, Public Nuisance, nearly flips Lance Corporal Kill. And, and yeah, I think I think uh, Public Nuisance having some control problems too. Yeah, it is losing control, but, and it, oh, and it's flipped! It is flipped, Lance Corporal Kill, hitting it off the wall. Here's a replay of it. So he just get he just gets up from the side, hits off the side, and he flips. So, let's see if Public Nuisance can actually uh, get that out of the window. Let's just see. So, he's gonna work against the wall. Oh, can't, yes, he's gonna do it again. And he has even done it. He's actually managed to uh, get Lance Corporal Kill out of the arena. And there you go. Probably uses wins and goes through to the Heat semi final. And there he is, just celebrating. And this is the robot called Knife. It has lifting wedges, as you can see, and it is invertible, but its sides aren't heavily armoured, and it has a slightly higher ground clearance than some of the other wedge-shaped robots. Here is Mr. Wobster. It has two claws, one on either side, and a wedge in the middle to get under robots and maybe even flip them. It has wheels, there are two wheels, one on either side, but they are exposed, as is the rear end. <laughs> But its main strength is that it is in Hello and welcome to this round one battle between Mr. Wobster and Knife. Oh, um, I am sorry, but we seem to have a few filming record uh, problems. Um, so sorry about that. So it's going to be a bit scurry. So let's just look at this. So Knife has the, uh, the wedges that go up and down. Trying to get under robots and flip them. Oh, and Mr. Wobster is struggling at the moment. Trying to push Mr. Wobster. He's still got pushing Knife towards the edge. And Knife going towards the CPZ. Now towards the pit. And now towards the other opposite CPZ where Mr. Wobster was waiting for him. Mr. Wobster is trying to push Knife closer to the pit. Knife now put a knife has a chance to push Mr. Wobster towards the pit. But Mr. Wobster flies over Knife due to nice uh, low central gravity and it's quite small in robot. Mr. Wobster now again trying to push knife, trying to get hold of it using its claws and pushing it into the wall. That was a very good hit. And again into the wall. Mr. Wobster has been really good the last few uh, 30 seconds. And knife nearly Nearly getting under Mr. Wobster, going straight towards the pit. That was very close to the pit. He's, ne he's ne nearly close to the pit. Oh, but he reverses out the way. Mr. Wobster nearly. And Mr. Wobster trying to push him into the pit. 
And he does! This was a push that I want to hear to say, I don't think I can move! And now, and he just pushed me to ice, nice, into the pit! Mr. Wobster, it's through to round two! Have you beaten not? Here is Lord Cornelius, he did a wedge-shaped robot with a spinning disc at the front which can push robots away very easily and fling them across the arena. It is a high ground clearance for the battler and not the lowest of ground clearance. The Spade Twins, which is a cluster bot and the only cluster bot in the competition, versus Lord Cornelius, which has a spinning disc. So, there it is, the cluster bot break, breaking apart there, but Lord Cornelius coming on to the attack. Straight away, again, attacking the Spade Twins with that ferocious spinning disc. Spade Twins is actually one of the lightest robots in the competition, but well, it is the lightest, even though it's a cluster part away and oh what a whoa! And that spinning disc has just flipped one half of the cluster bot over. Now they'll be counted down. And Well, I think the Spade Twins are gonna be out. That spinning disc is really good, it is just flipped over one of the Spade Twins with so much power. Well, one half of the Cluster Boy is now immobile, immobile, which now means that it's lost. So there is the end of the round one battle. Here is Toxinator. Its weapons are a ram and a wedge at the front and a saw at the back. It has four wheels, uh, which are quite effective in agility, but its actual steering is too good, actually. And it can be easily Hello and welcome to this battle between Thing and Toxinator. So Toxinator there has got a red like lifter slash flipper which can get under Thing and Thing also has a, uh, well, a lifter and it has a spike on its front. Um, oh, but Toxinator there gained under Thing using that, that very low uh, flipper, well, lifter. <laughs> And Thing now running away into the CPZ. Toxinator coming back towards there with a lot of power. Not very good turning ability though. And Thing has a few uh, problems with turning as well. But now trying to get under under Toxinator. And he does! Toxinator and he gets under Toxinator! But he goes in himself! And Thing is just, try is just trying to put Toxinator into the pit and actually just drove himself into the pit. Well, well that's him out of the competition. Let's just watch that again. The Toxinator just manages to move out of the way and then Thing tries to knock him and ends up going himself.